Well, I rode to Hawking Hills today. I had nothing better to do. And I I paired my helmet and the Pack Talk Bold to the telephone. I haven't figured out pairing it to the motorcycle yet. Something about a pin number, but it didn't come up on the bike or the phone. I haven't really researched it. I really haven't looked read it into it that deeply, but pairing it to the phone was no big deal, so I can actually play YouTube like I do on the truck, in the truck, and uh, it plays through and the telephone works through my back top bolt. And the, uh, I've actually already taken it out. Hitter hike chair. I'm going to show you how that comes out. I've actually already taken it out. This is the seat. How easily it goes together. Just uh, unzip the case. Nice zippered case, everything fits into. One central bar, and yes, it, re it comes out too, but the uh, tension rope, springs, whatever. Pulls it all together into the correct place. All you gotta do is help help it a little bit and line it up like that. In, 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 in. The high back, very important. The high back, one, two, three pieces. There. That high back. Again, yeah, it's already together. I, sometimes it'll just spring together because of the elastic. Now it's high back, you put it to the back, put it to, put the big legs down, of course. I'm gonna say that's one inch. That's it. So you can see everything is transferred to stress into these. These are very important. Appears to be some sort of plastic. Of course, you know, anytime metal like that kind of springs, it's relieving tension. So it's uh, like a shock. So when you sit down in the chair, you do not want to sit down hard. As I said once before, rotating dynamic force is like four times static force, as if it was just sitting there. Got the head cushion there. So, uh, and it runs, uh, the back runs in kind of deep into these. You can see so it's, it's further than my finger, maybe two finger lengths. And the bottom, see how reinforced that is. I don't know what the material is, but it's, it's doubled over, it's reinforced, very stiff. You get these, have to fold out, they go off to the side. Oh, that, that. So, the seat goes down. There we go. So the first thing you want to do is slide. Back into the deep part, as far as it goes. Start on my left, pretty simple, stretch it out, and just goes into that little pocket. I like to double fold it over, but you can see how big, it's very reinforced and stiff there. A little bit of tension on that, so it's going to be a little, a little forceful. And there is my hitter hike chair. Compared to the uh, click chair, which is about like my, my table, I'll sit down in it real quick. Show you. Sit down is simple and easy, but not too easy. And I'll be honest with you, I find it very, very, in, it's very comfortable. 
Now, I haven't really used it much, so I realize how much stress are on those two uh, plastic, or I don't know what they are, actually, as I rub them with my hands on them. They almost feel like a metal eyeball. But really, you know, all the weight has to be uh, being put through them. So, uh, I don't know, their design would be very interesting. Maybe the weight counteracts each other, balances, balances it out. Uh, anything triangulated puts the pressure at a, at a point, and this basically is triangulating everything. So. Next will be my picnic table. Nice, see? I thought about going up to uh, Rock Mill Tavern Brewery, then some guy at a gas station where I stopped and got a drink because I was indec indecisive in my, what way I wanted to go. See, and he said he was from Belfry. You better get home. <laughs> so maybe he recognized me. So uh, the nice chair, you see how it's all folded up, kept in place, each end. Has that elastic white loop, the elastic loop out, and there's the table top. This is the table bottom, which uh, you see. I don't know, say three by three, and so it stays in a certain way, and then it just kind of like an accordion pulls out. And this will only go one way, the few, one movable part will only uh, rotate from there over to the other side. I have to close that back up a little bit to get it at the proper length. That against, right against that, so that's the proper length. Got the little uh, rubber treaded feet. And uh, on each end, it's got a little bar. It's kind of flat on each side, rounded on this side, faces you. And the only place it can go is back where you ran this right there, that way. It runs the opposite way. This has this this way, you need another one this way, and it's built into the tabletop. So I can see now that how that works. that in and wiring it pushes into the other side and you don't let the table legs spread out that way anymore either. Now that's not going to set a person. Definitely you definitely don't want to set a person up. So, uh, just move a little bit. That's my motorcycle spray on car wash. 
I use. Like when I stopped at the uh, Old Man's Cave uh, Visitor Center, I wiped the bugs off everything using that. Maybe these. Applicator disc, applicator micro fiber disc. That's my campground. I'll clean up the motorcycle and try out my Fritz sealant. And this is being filmed from the uh, tripod I bought, my uh, phone, which I dropped once and didn't break the front of it because I put on a liquid glass type of deal, but the back of it is actually has a crack in it already. This is a KNF concept. Tubeless tire repair, nice and I do. I have not gotten the old school string tire type of plug repair. So if I run over something, I haven't got the, uh, the small air compressor yet. Charger just in case because it also has a light on it. The uh, battery jump starter, it also has a light on it. And it can charge up phones. Drop the case. Got my Movo. And this is a smooth gimbal, just so the cops know that's not a gun. Not a gun I got packed away there. That is the smooth gimbal. Kind of an odd shaped case. Oddly, I never wear it, use it. Uh, I'm a little paranoid that I'll drop the phone out of it. Maybe if I had a GoPro, I wouldn't feel so bad. I think it would be a little bit more uh, rugged. And I think it's better. A GoPro would probably better fit in its handle. But that's a, that's a gimbal. Not a gun. The helmet was great. It worked great. So I was listening to the SOS band. That worked great. Um, just have to find someone that has done this before, or I'll have to read the, the book that I have right here. That I haven't even began to, I haven't even looked at it to see how to operate the pack cost balls. Besides that, air vent was awesome on it, everything super clear, great. It actually fits my head. It might be a little snug on the forehead, but Really, I can pull it forward and re-release it, and the pads must push down, and it comes out great. It's got the big R on the back, so it matches everything. She's looking good if I just clean her up. That's all, people.